Just got done watching the NVIDIA GTC keynote with Jensen Wong, and wow, you definitely want to check this out. The link is in the description. This overview that he gave of just every direction that NVIDIA is going and indeed the AI industry is going, really, I'm going to try to just get to some of the key points in this brief video and let you know what I found at least the, the most interesting to me and to what I'm working on. The quote that I really liked from Jensen was that ChatGPT, I mean, there's just so much going on with ChatGPT right now, and love it or hate it, it's a, it's a huge force in the industry right now. And as, as Jensen put it, this is literally a iPhone moment for AI because you're seeing just this crazy growth and adoption of ChatGPT compared to anything that has really come before it. Now, as Jensen said, everybody is a programmer because you can have ChatGPT solve problems for you, give you recommendations, all just in human language. Some of the advances that NVIDIA is uh, announcing, particularly in the, in the server area where they are providing inference capabilities for things at the level of ChatGPT and also for companies that are certainly going to be wanting to train things like GPT networks on their own proprietary net data and processes. And NVIDIA is really playing in both spaces here. There is the Grace CPU and the Hopper, the H100's GPUs that are certainly in the DGX platform going to really provide the ability to run some of this high-end training and inference just to infer from a GPT model takes considerable compute. I found the NVIDIA AI foundations to be particularly interesting. You see the diagram here. Really in these three areas that NVIDIA is specifically offering libraries and cloud services, more importantly, to allow businesses to jump into this area. Nemo is for text to text. So that's what you think of with the current generation of G ChatGPT, where you give a text and it gives you back more text. Now there are ways that GPT-4 is now incorporating images, but Text-to-text -text is a very big domain for these kinds of models. Picasso is the next area, and this is more text to images, videos, and 3D assets. More and more, they're making it available that you can actually get the meshes out of these for 3D rendering and create objects that can be seen really from any direction as opposed to what you might see in like stable diffusion where it just generates a static image. Video generation is also becoming quite capable in this area, and we're seeing some amazing stuff certainly in that area. And then BioNemo is used a lot in drug discovery. Generative models can be used to generate the, these new drugs within parameters that can see clinical application. I'm also very excited about continuing partnership with Adobe and NVIDIA. I use Adobe products. I, I love Photoshop. I use Premiere Pro. It's what this video gets processed on. I think it's going to be really cool to see some of the capabilities that you're going to have with generative art meshing into these mainstream platforms. There's also a fireside chat coming up that I will definitely be watching between Jensen Wong and Ilyas Setskever who is a co-founder and chief scientist of OpenAI. They're going to talk about the future of these generative transformer models and certainly NVIDIA's role in this. So lots more coming up with GTC. I also have a link to my giveaway. I'm giving away a 4080 GPU. And I will say too, there's some scammers sending emails from me on that giveaway. I will never ask for money for shipping or things like that. If you're sending money, you're probably dealing with a scammer. Email me at the email address that I have in the giveaway video and I'll reply to you and you'll see your message from it. Thank you very much and enjoy GTC.